So in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to override Elemental's kind of column structure using Microthema with the new CSS grid controls. So the let the responsive layout we've got for this is that it's four uh, boxes, four columns, uh, full screen, and then when we get to around 700 pixels, it switches to two. And it stays at two, no matter how small we go. Um, so what? we're going to do in this video is uh, switch them down to three boxes and then two boxes and then one box uh, so it's like full width for, the, for mobile so let's start by targeting the container element the best way to find a container element is to click on a, a single item and then view the HTML Elementor uses quite a lot of nesting um, quite a lot of divs inside divs and so in order to find the right one, we can click the breadcrumbs, keep going left until that we get to the first one that covers all of our boxes. Um, this can take a little bit longer than uh, finding the right line of HTML. There we go, we finally got it. Um, but if you don't know HTML, it's easy just to click left. So, uh, and it's called Elemental Row when you do find it. Um, so let's give this a new label. Uh, container. Oops, container for boxes, uh, create a selector. Uh, now the we can create this grid by just simply dragging here, just to mimic what we had with Elemental, four columns, but the reason the content gets very narrow uh, is because the styling that we had in place before, um, where Elemental uses Flexbox, um, it sets the width of, of the items on the items themselves. So we, we need to override that. This is one thing you need to know about when you're overriding Elemental, like existing columns. Of course, if you're working with um, just an initial, say, full width um, like module, then you won't have to do this. But if you're customizing uh, an existing structure, what we'll do is we will create um, a select of the items. And actually, I'll just show you what I mean. Um, this is what I did to find this. I found, uh, so this is the row element that we've got selected for, and this is one of the first item, and you see here, because it's uh, cold, cold 25, 25%, um, if we disable that, you'll see they um, so they come back, but we, we need to actually create a selector to actually properly override this. So, um, we will target, uh, I'll just close this, we will target the uh, item, and I'm just going to Use the HTML this time because uh, it's quicker, and let's just call, and we'll create one for all four boxes. So we customize this on the right. This tells us that we're going to target four items on the page, and highlighting shows it's all the ones we want. Uh, and let's just call this boxes, uh, and then we just go to the dimensions uh, property group and set it to 100%. So now all we need to do is. Um, set a different, so we've, you know, we've got four boxes, all right, let's go back to the container sector, we've got these four um, columns at full width, um, and then we can make, uh, maybe that's still all right, four columns there, just about, but maybe here we'll go, uh, or just to show you actually, uh, I'll create a container for three, where are we, yeah, so that's three there, and actually um, because it's not a number, we could just make this one a bit bigger. Um, and then at smaller screen uh, here, we'll go for just a two column layout. Uh, that's okay, like that. And then on mobile, we can switch to a single column layout. And there we have it. So I think that's all I want to show in this video. Thanks a lot.